Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terror. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. All right, it's Friday. Everybody knows what that means. It's time for the weekend top and bottom reading. All right, you guys know how we do this. For those of you who are new here, I'll go over it very briefly. I do this by the elements. It is Taurus season. Taurus is an earth sign, so earth signs will go first. It will go earth, air, water, fire. Try to keep it short and sweet and to the point because it's only for two days and it really shouldn't, you know, take very long to do. This is just a sneak peek of what you might be able to expect for this weekend. All right, first cards on the table are going to be for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Three shuffles, one. Two. Okay. Top of the deck, eight of wands. Bottom of the deck, ace of pentacles. Oh. Very nice. Communication, fast moving, possibly unexpected. Bringing in something abundant. Very nice. Small beginnings. Unexpected. I'm liking it so far, Earth Signs. Top of the deck, bottom of the deck. Very nice. Five of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Empress. Coming out of a state of being out in the cold, something with potential of growth. Taking care of business. Very nice. I like it. I'm not even going to clarify those two. Top, bottom. Nine of Wands reversed, Six of Wands reversed. Right on. Okay. Walls are tumbling down. Something possibly making a return. Okay, we'll clarify those two. Those are a little iffy. Top, bottom. Prince of Swords, Queen of Cups. More communication. Could be an emotional conversation this weekend. Probably unexpected, starting something new and abundant. Gonna bring you out of the cold, there's room to grow. Can I get some clarity on the Nine of Wands, please? Nine of Cups. Very nice, allowing walls to come down, allowing cups to be filled. I like it. Conversations happening, happiness coming. All you had to do was open yourself up a little bit. I like it. Open yourself up to the possibilities. There's signs. Why is the Six of Swords here? Thank you. Five of Cups in the upright. Here's the flip side of it. With this return, some old feelings may come back. It's, it's going to be a reminder of the sad times. This may be something you tried to just tuck away, but you need to keep in mind the two cups of blessings are still there. So, birth signs. Long story short, got something coming back. It's going to be emotional. It might open some old wounds, but I think at the end of the day, everything's going to be just fine. It's going to come out of nowhere, though, and something beautiful is going to come out of it at the end. Okay, this is something you may have waited for for a long time. You must maintain a positive attitude. Seven of Pentacles in the upright. King of Swords in the reverse. Don't, don't get crappy. 
don't get attitudinal. I think this person is coming from a place of honesty and really has something that they want to offer. One more. King of Cups in the upright, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. I'm trying to think of the positive spin for this. For some of you, even if there isn't a happy ending in store for it, at least I think you're going to get that emotional closure. And really, that's abundance for me. I mean... Splits the story a little bit, though. If anything, something beautiful will come out of it. All right, Earth Signs. Well, buckle up and get ready for that one. Okay. Air Signs. My Air Signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. My Air Signs. Here we go. One. Two of Wands in the reverse, Queen of Wands in the upright. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with. But you're stuck at the crossroads, not sure what to do, not sure which way to go. Someone, something, situation, person, however, whatever, something is going to come in to light a fire under your butt this weekend. Top of the deck, bottom of the deck. In the past, Four of Cups, Queen of Cups reversed. You ignored what someone tried to hand you because the feelings just weren't mutual. Okay. Or they were mutual, just not at the same level, because someone was emotionally closed off. Top of the deck, bottom of the deck. Knight of Swords, Ace of Wands. Okay. <sighs> Communication, possibly through a third party, or at the very least information gathering here. Someone kept the lines of communication going, and the fire started. There's passion here. There's potential. There's potential for something wonderful and something beautiful, something passionate and fiery and amazing. And right now, it's just a little candle burning. It's not much of anything right now, because somebody's stuck at a crossroads. But... Top of the deck, bottom of the deck. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, Page of Pentacles in the upright. That's what's going to come in. Okay. I don't think this Queen of Pentacles refers to so much codependency or neediness. It's a... It could be a need to be wanted or a need to be needed. I 
And I think this thing coming into light of fire under your butt is... It could be an apology or an explanation. Let's get clarity. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Nine of Cups reversed. Someone may come in apologizing for not being as emotionally fulfilling as they could have been. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed here? Hi. Where'd you run off to? Six of Pentacles in the upright. I think that's the only card that fell. Ah. Uh, mutual, equal, even. Got it. Okay. Something may occur this weekend where there's, like, the light bulb goes on. I need them as much as they need me. Or vice versa. Know what I'm saying? Like, if you're having trouble making the decision, not quite sure which way to go, this weekend, it the fire will be lit. It's like, okay, I need to make a decision here. Right on. Okay, well, what's us to do? King of Wands reversed, Knight of Cups reversed. Don't let it be just words. If the emotion is not genuine, don't lead anybody on. Don't be all argumentative and confrontational. If you're not ready, you're not ready. If they're not ready, they're not ready. Six of Swords upright. The moon in the reverse. Things may be put into perspective. I think some of the smoke in the mirrors are going to clear this weekend. Some of you may decide to move on from this. And that's okay too. But be honest about how you feel. All right, it's decision time, air signs. It's decision time. All right, water. What's going on for my water signs this weekend? I'm not diving in as deep, and I'm I'm not rushing because sitting in this chair kills me. Or I am. I may be like rushing a little bit. Oh, oh. This is killing my back right in between my shoulder blades. And I'm trying not to be a whiny butt about it, but this really hurts. And I don't want to take anything too soon before I have to go to work on my bread and butter job. Because then it's going to wear off before the end of my night, and nobody wants that. Alright, two more for my water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. One more. Mix them up a little bit. Mix them up a little bit. Mix them up a little bit. Six of Cups. Six of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, memories are good, times are good, but this wasn't even or equal. It wasn't reciprocated. And the playing field may have been left on level. I mean, there's no malice, there's no harsh feelings, but it just wasn't equal or even. Well, what else is going on? Knight of Wands and the Nine of Swords reverse.
Some of you may not have been ready to commit. For somebody, it may have just been about a little something, something, know what I'm saying? But it was like, when it ended, you didn't even get a second thought. You didn't get all crazy about it. Justice in the reverse, two of cups in the upright. It, it was a connection. You, you know, I got two soulmate cards here, the six of cups and the two of cups. But again, it wasn't equal. Justice reversed. It wasn't equal. It wasn't even. The playing field was not level when this ended. There may have been a huge injustice. Kind of been a Libra you were dealing with. I got a little fire. I got a little air. I got a little bit more water, a little bit of earth. All right, what's going on this weekend? Eight of Pentacles reversed, Queen of Cups reversed. Can I get some clarity on the Eight of Pentacles? Wow. Let me get the words out. <laughs> That's funny. You know what? I'm going to post this video anyway because I don't care. <laughs> Just let it fall. I don't care. It's fine. I'll put it back up later. Just put this on the blooper reel or something. Six of Wands. You may come to the conclusion this weekend that you are better off not putting work into this connection. Can I get clarity on the Queen of Cups, please? Queen of Cups reversed. Thanks. Emperor in the reverse. You may come to the realization of how this how this connection really left you. And I think you ha you may have had some issues with self-worth and self-love. And this may have left you extremely vulnerable with the Emperor reversed. But you're better off for it. Why is the justice reversed here? Five of swords in the upright. Someone left picking up pieces, things that happen behind closed doors. Okay. Okay. For some of you, this may have been like domestic abuse. And you are definitely better off for it. And I don't... I don't even necessarily mean physical abuse. Because domestic abuse comes in a lot of forms. Wow. Wild. Crazy. Okay. All right, let's get a little bit of advice on how to deal with the emotions that are going to come out this weekend. The Hermit reversed and the Two of Pentacles reversed. I think some, some of you may need to attempt to try to heal from this. I, I don't think... I don't think you really healed from it. I think when everything went down, you didn't give it really give it a second thought. I don't think you processed anything at all.
Ace of Swords in the upright, Eight of Wands in the reverse. That might be your little reminder. Someone may try to come in this weekend with a conversation and if you just do not have that conversation, don't have it. Just shut it down. Two of swords in the reverse, nine of pentacles in the reverse. You need to you need to regain your emotional independence from this. I think you just tried to put it out of your head and you didn't give it a second thought because that's how you dealt with it, by not dealing with it. I'm sorry, water signs, no. No, honey, no. No. You have to eventually deal with it because I think it's still haunting you. You have wonderful memories. But at the same time, the not-so-wonderful memories still haunt you. You were left very vulnerable and really not loving yourself. And you need to start loving yourself. Two more. Ten of Cups and Three of Pentacles. Pull it back together. Rain it in. Rain it in. By processing these emotions and just kind of raining it in and getting it back together and laying the foundation for your own emotional health and well-being. That's what you should concentrate on this weekend. That little reminder, don't let it send you into a tailspin. Because remember, you're better off for not putting any work into this connection. I don't think this was a happy dance for anybody. Okay? So, if anybody gets that little reminder this weekend of a not-so-happy memory... Or a reminder of a not-so-happy memory with lots of happy memories attached to it. Do whatever you're going to do with it. You're not going to get any judgment from me. Fire signs. I love you guys, but this chair is killing me. Mm. Mm. It's right in between the shoulders. As soon as that chiropractor's... I think I'm going to be waiting outside the door when my chiropractor's office opens up. Dude, let me in. I need to get cracked. Oh. Hey, what flew out? The strength card. We're going to put it back in and see what happens. Top of the deck, Knight of Wands, bottom of the deck, Page of Wands. Oh, fire signs. You're going to have an interesting weekend. Mm-hmm. By the looks of things, you're going to have a very interesting weekend. Pounding footsteps, pounding. Five of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Okay. Back in the distant, recent, somewhere back in the past, there was a change in how things communicated. I think someone may have gotten a little cold and icy with you. Page of Swords in the reverse and the shadow side. Oh, the shadow side. Yeah, you're going to have a very interesting weekend by the sounds of things. Q 
communication may have been cut off altogether. They may have been dealing with some toxic crap. Could have been them, could have been you. But there was toxicities here. There was some not so cool things going on. Top of the deck, bottom of the deck. Mm. Shut that off. Hermit reversed, page of cups reversed. Why is the hermit reversed here? Hi, eight of pentacles. Why is the page of cups reversed here? Eight of cups. Captain non-committal may be coming back for you this weekend. I think you're going to get a very unexpected message. Possibly from another fire sign. Could very well be. And I don't see you doing a darn thing with it. <laughs> I really don't. Hermit reversed, eight of pentacles in the upright. You're just like, you know what? Um, No. I'm working on me. I'm dealing with me. I haven't healed from what you did yet. No. I'm not going back into that dark place you shoved me in. I'm going to concentrate on me and work on me this weekend. That's what I'm doing. You don't have feelings for this person. You're not going to pretend you have feelings for this person. You've walked on. If you have any communication with them, you're going to tell them to take a walk. That's how I feel about this. I don't know if you're the one who got cold and icy after the things changed in communication or if they did. Somebody got very icy. I think when things changed, you told them where to go and how to get there. And you may have even drawn them a map with your little sword there. Fire signs. For those of you who have an error in your chart. Whoops. Let me put those back in. All right. Just one more. Moon reversed. It without intentions. Smoke and mirrors is going to clear. Things are going to be illuminated. Things that you didn't realize before may come to light. What are you going to do about it? Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords reversed. Yeah, you're just going to be like, you know what? Go. You're not going to give it a second thought. Go. Draw them another map. Fire signs. You know, you're really coming back around to me? Really? After the way it ended last time, you're really going to do this? Really? Ten of swords in the reverse and the seven of swords. In the reverse. Don't let whatever truths come out put you back in that dark place. Allow the sun to shine. Don't let that painful cycle start back up. You need to put it to an end. High Priestess and the Ace of Wands. There was definitely a connection here. And those beautiful, wonderful soulmate connections. Sometimes that's all they are. This is like the 5D card. This, this was meant to happen the way it did. And it was meant to happen to teach you something. Or them, you know, whoever's soulmate lesson was in play here. Could have been theirs, could have been yours. But that's all it was. That dotted line was signed before everybody came down here. It's played out the way it was supposed to play out in this stage of the game. It is what it is. And just let it be. A 
unless you want to go through it again. If, if you would, if you absolutely, if you would like to rewind and replay that lesson, go for it. But if you haven't learned it by now, well, that's not my journey. That's all I have to say, my fire sign brothers and sisters. All right, this has been your weekend top and bottom. I have to go get ready for work at my real job. <laughs> so I'm going to check out. I will resume readings. Depending on what time it is when I get home tonight. I don't know how late it's going to be. Either tonight when I get home or tomorrow night when I get home. We'll see how I feel in the morning. I might try to knock out one before I go to work in the morning. You know, with my back being the way it is, it's very hard for me to sit. So this, like, totally kills me. But anywho, I love you guys. Take care. Have a good weekend. Stay safe. Be blessed. And I will catch you next week. Good dinner.